This is the Double Thruster from Joyo. And essentially what this pedal is, is a budget-friendly bass overdrive that can cover a whole lot of different ground. Ranging from a really nice low gain boost pedal all the way to a bombastic over the top bass overdrive that sounds absolutely humongous all for the price of about $60 brand new. Joyo is a Chinese music manufacturer that makes a whole lot of different amplifiers, effects, all kinds of stuff like that. And they do a lot of clones of different things. So if you don't know, the Double Thruster is Joyo's budget take on Dark Glass's famous B3K that has completely changed the landscape of tone and bass, at least in my opinion. Now you can call it their interpretation of it, you can call it a clone, you can call it a copy. Basically all three of those things are kind of exactly what it is. It's a clone copy, their own iteration of it in a different housing. And the thing is, honestly, it sounds just as good as the B3K, but this one comes in at way cheaper. Now, before we dig into the double thruster and for the sake of transparency, this video is sponsored by Joyo, but of course, as with any other sponsored content on my channel, that has absolutely no effect on what I say, what I play, anything that goes on in this video at all or anything like that. I'm just a bass player who loves checking out different gear, seeing what it sounds like and seeing what cool riffs I can come up with along the way. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Now, what I will definitely give Joyo is that the construction on this feels absolutely impeccable. It feels incredibly sturdy and that it will really last a long time. And for the controls on the front, we simply have four knobs as well as two two-way toggle switches. You have a tone knob, which of course helps adjust the EQ of the overall overdrive sound, which gives you either a brighter or darker sound, a blend knob that goes basically from completely dry to completely wet, so you can really blend that exact mix that you're looking for, volume for your overall output, and then gain for your overall drive too. Then for your two toggle switches, you have gain boost and mid boost. Now for the pros on the double thruster, this is just a fantastic sounding bass overdrive. Again, what they set out to do was make their own version of the B3K, and it basically is the B3K, a fantastic modern overdrive pedal for bass that does just a phenomenal job at giving you a lot of different controls and different ways to sculpt your tone and make it all your own. And it's so much fun to play around with and sounds just as good as the B3K. But again, this one is $60 brand new. As for the cons, um, I can't really think of any, <laughs> just like the B3K pretty much. Uh, it's a fantastic overdrive pedal that has a great modern sound. But of course, if you don't want that modern sound, uh, this isn't the pedal for you. This again has a very modern and very direct sound where it doesn't have that more sort of laid back tonality that you would get from a more vintage overdrive pedal. Now, however you feel about clones, copies, whatever you want to call them, it's that's all up to you. Me personally, I think this is just a great way to give more access to more bass players to what would otherwise be a more boutique pedal, but now it's just so much more easily accessible for anyone no matter what their income is.
And so overall, the double thruster is just a fantastic sounding and great playing bass overdrive that can be bought by pretty much anyone because of its low price tag, which is just so awesome. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the double thruster and what other cool Joyo stuff I should be checking out. Thank you all so much for watching, as always, for watching, commenting, subscribing, follow me on social media, all that crazy stuff. I truly do appreciate it. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters right over here. Mwah, mwah. But y'all, thank you again so much for watching, as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, have fun with a really cool overdrive pedal, and I'll see y'all next time.